Counterculture, a way of life and set of attitudes at variance or opposed to the prevailing social norm. A subculture whose values and norms of behavior differ substantially from those of mainstream society. Christian culture, that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. So anyhow, we're, we're going to, uh, and I, I said, I actually put this up on our Bible Talk page just not, not long ago, and I said this was a, I, a prophetic word. I'm not, this is from God, that, that we, the body of Christ, those who are walking according to the Spirit, need to be prepared or prepared for what's coming, and what's coming is an increasing intolerance yes. of those who are living godly, wow. because we are counterculture, and we everything we are stands against everything they do. I want to make that distinction. It's what we are is in contrast to what they do. Mm. It's not about us being more righteous or self-righteous or better than them. Yeah. It is about the fact that we are that holy place. We are that temple of the living God. And when that temple is not defiled, the glory of God shines through. And it will either do one of two things. It will anger people out there, or our lifting Christ up and glorifying Him in our lives will draw men to Him. But you know what? It should have some effect. It should be one or the other, yeah. but it should have an effect. Mm -hmm. Our lives should have an impact on the lives around us. And that's a fact. Yes. And if your life is not having an impact, you need to get in your prayer closet and ask, have a little conversation with Abba Father yes. and ask Him what's going on. I said, in the last days, I didn't say this, Paul said, in the last days, perilous times will come. Yes. That word perilous is used there. It literally means demonic rage. And we're coming into a time of demonic rage. We're seeing it. You know, but somehow it's like it's like the frog in the boy in the water. Put them in the cool water and start to bubble it. It's little by little and it becomes a little easier to deal with. The fact is that all around the world, the word of God is becoming hate speech. Yes. The world doesn't mind you. You can be a Christian. You can go to church every Sunday. You go to that building and keep yourself in that little building. They don't care. You come outside and say that this is what God demands. Mm -hmm. He demands that you worship Him in spirit and truth. He demands that there is a lifestyle that God expects you to live, that there is morality that is the law of God. Now, I, I understand that there's a great difference between morality and righteousness. But the fact is, morality, as outlined by the Word of God, should be part of our lives. Right. I, we travel, as a matter of fact, we're getting ready to leave now. And we travel to places where there are far, far higher Muslim populations than there are here in the United States. Although the Muslim population here in the United States is growing. Right. Yes. And interestingly, you see more and more, there are people who are converting to Islam. Yes. Why? Because Islam has the perception of morality. At the time we're doing this, I think it's around spring break here in the United States. Spring break, how you parents go to the beach. Shame, shame, shame on you parents. They are organized orgies. And they are going on all over the United States. Drunken, binocular orgies that are, that are taking place. And if Daddy, if you let your daughter, teenager, or I don't care how old your daughter is, if you let her go to that, shame on you. And may you be held accountable for it. It's, it is, there is no morality in this country. You don't believe me, go turn on your television and just randomly pick a channel. And I promise you, that within moments, you will see immorality. It doesn't have to be a show, it'll be a commercial. Yeah, I can absolutely. <laughs>
one of the fastest growing quote, and I'm putting big quotes around this, Christian denominations is the, is the Church of the Latter-day Saints and Mormons. Mm. Because there is a perception, in many minds, of morality that exists there, like the Muslim, that you simply don't find in Christianity. No. Why is that? Why is it? Because we are not being obedient to the Word of God. That's why. That's why. Created in me a clean heart, O oh God, let, Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength. Teach me your song. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings. For we are your righteousness. When we die to ourselves, and live through your death, then we shall be born again to be.